El Pinto restaurant was built in 1962 with one dining room and a little small kitchen. And El Pinto now seats 1,200 guests and is the largest restaurant in the state of New Mexico. So pleased to say that joining us today is Director of Marketing and Promotions, Jim Garcia. Very Good well morning. known around town. Great to thank see you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having us today. Oh, thank you for beautifying our kitchen even more. And, you know, I want to mention great. to those who don't know, this has been a family-owned restaurant for years. So give us a little history of El Pinto. Well, the owners now are Jim and John Thomas. We, we call them the Salsa Twins. They, uh, <laughs> they got that moniker a few years ago, and uh, they're salsa experts. They, they uh, actually took the restaurant from mom and dad okay. uh, about 18 years ago and have uh, kind of transformed it into a real, real iconic, authentic New Mexican restaurant. Yeah, and, you know, I want to talk about the fact they actually use the recipes, as you mentioned. You know, they use the recipes of the owner's grandmother, Josefina Chavez right. Griggs, right? Right. And so, I mean, the family was the first to really differentiate the cuisine as New Mexican. Absolutely. And a lot of people that don't that don't come from New Mexico, myself included, originally don't realize that there's a big difference oh, yeah. between Mexican or Tex-Mex versus mm -hmm. New Mexican. So share a little bit about that difference. Well, they, and they did. Uh, it was actually their mom, their mom, Consuela, who said, we are not Mexican food, we are New Mexican food. Yeah. And, and that was on our, our uh, moniker now, so it is now authentic New Mexican food. And there is a big difference between uh, Tex-Mex, if you will, mm -hmm. And, and Mexican food. And in New Mexico, we really, really celebrate the Anaheim chili. Yes. So all of our meals are really are surrounded around the Anaheim chili that comes from the Hatch Valley or oh, yeah. uh, the uh, Mesilla Valley is actually where we get most of our chilies from down south. Uh, but Tex-Mex would be more of your chili powders with okay. beef. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's right. C-H-I-L-I, -I, chili. Exactly. So chili, chile, chili with an E is a vegetable. So yes. we use that the, uh, mainly around here. And a very addicting one, I may say. It is a very addicting <laughs> we, We're very, very proud of the food that we make. and uh, Yes. And well, you know, as a second generation business, what has changed the most? Well, I think that what's changed the most is how we communicate with our with our customers. Now mm. uh, Now that we're in all 50 states with our grocery products, yes. um, we, we have I different buy. ways of communicating with them. Now we're online, we're selling our products all over the world. Gosh. We only have one restaurant, but we're able to get uh, this product all the way. Uh, Universal and, appeal. And we use UPS. And, and, and you use UPS. Do, even better. Uh, we send it out, we send it overseas, we send it to the troops. Can you tell us real briefly before we start cooking what sure. some of these products are? Well, That's our salsa, this is our number one product and this is what we're going to use. This is the secret ingredient to making guacamole. It is? Yes. It, to making guacamole, instead of using, uh, adding garlic, tomatoes, onions, salt and pepper in the salsa, you have all of those ingredients and they ah. blend perfectly into a guacamole. We also have our green chili sauce. The green chili sauce, this is great. This yeah, is just basically, buy. yes, this is just green chili, garlic, salt and pepper. Uh, it's kind of a base and it works really, really good. You can't um, go wrong. Yeah, and we have about eight products now in the market. We have a Chipotle and uh, jalapeno salsa is one of our newest ones that Ooh, came out. And it's I got a little to kick that. to it. Yeah. Well, let's start cooking. And while we cook okay. it, we'll ask you a couple more questions because I really okay. want to get into some of your customer base because I know you work with a lot of celebrities. But first, let's start a little sure. bit on how we begin to make guacamole like you. The, the, <laughs> there's no way to make a great guacamole unless you have a great uh, avocado. Okay. So we recommend a good Haas avocado. It's Haas? a California avocado. Okay. And they are are, they're uh, they're available year round, and okay. there's different seasons for them. But we're looking for a Haas avocado. It's a very flavorful avocado, yeah. and you cannot have great guacamole without starting with a great great avocado. Haas and then what we're going to do is we're we're going to mix this with just some very simple ingredients. Okay, first okay. of all, we want we want some fresh onions because mm -hmm. we're going to have a little bit of it's going to add a little bite to that. Yes. We want a little bit of fresh tomatoes, and I already kind of prepared this. We have a little bit just of tomatoes. Diced them up. Okay, and the secret the secret right here is going to be your favorite. Now we suggest that you use El Pinto salsa because we think it has the most flavor. What else would you So use? we're going to make, in fact, I'm going to do that right in here. Okay. And I'm going to add two tablespoons to the recipe that we have, and we also have this online. And how many avocados did you use? I'm using four avocados here. Okay. Okay. And okay. then we're just using a little bit, about a tablespoon of iced onions, and I'm going to do about a quarter tablespoon of salt. Okay. okay. And we use sea salt. Ah. Uh, and we think that adds much better flavor to that. I love sea salt, yeah. I have to say. And then, it's not on the recipe, but I'm going to squeeze just a little bit of lime, and we're just going to let that preserve, and that's going to keep okay. them from turning, because avocados turn. That's right. That's the big thing. I mean, how long, I always wonder, how long can you keep guacamole for before it starts well, to get bad? Well, guacamole, we want to make this fresh. We want to make this right before our guests arrive. Okay. And if we want to ripen these, the best way to ripen them is in a bag. Oh. And if you want to super ripen them, if you add a banana or an apple to the bag, it will it will actually accelerate the uh, the uh, uh, readiness of You're that avocado. You're kidding! No? 
No, that is really, a great really tip. Idea. I love that. And yeah. I also, I want to go back to what I was saying. You have a lot of celebrities. You were mentioning Brian Cranston, a great customer of El Pinto. Tell us a few fun stories about some of the guests who come and go from El Pinto. Well, it's, uh, we are very respectful to the guests that come in, so yes. we don't just come in and take pictures. Some of them <laughs> would like to have their privacy and come in the back, and, and they're all so nice. We've had, geez, uh, M Mel Gibson was, he came in with Brian Davies, his producer, and really? we got to hang out with him. Hillary Clinton, a wonderful, wonderful uh, time with her. Uh, she made it made me sit with her so that she could uh, learn about all the foods and really? that, that was wonderful uh, you know we we've, we've been um, twice to, uh, in the White House with President Bush and oh that gosh. was an honor to be there and uh, we've had some great experiences and just wonder, wonderful people so, so much pride and of course you're also a proud member of the New Mexico Restaurant Association which always gives it a little extra pride to, to oh, any yeah. restaurant and um, we want to remind everybody before we continue cooking where they can find you because I know people want to make sure to head out you've got a lot of right. fun things going on in the next uh, couple days even we're gonna we're gonna do a matanza. Yes. And uh, you know what? Today we're also doing a very very big special for your guests today. Yes, we're gonna, I understand. This is just for New Mexico style. And if you go to elpinto.com okay. backslash nm style, uh -huh. half off. We're gonna oh my half gosh. Off. Uh, coupons that you can get on there and it's just going to be on there for 24 hours uh, and it's awesome. going to last all the way for the month. So That is great and, and from what Kristen says the weather is going to be perfect so they should come on out oh, and yeah. get 50% off for the next 24 hours. That's fabulous and so easy to find. You can always call 505-898-1771 and go to elpinto.com for more details. Now I'm looking at this I'm looking at this mixture. Now tell me what would be the next step. Okay the next step after we have our ingredients in here mm -hmm. now we're going to we're going to first we're going to slice it. Okay. Instead of pulverizing it we're okay. going to slice it gently with a knife because we really want the flavors to come out yes. in that avocado. I love that so bowl. once we get all of these flavors, and I'm going to have to be slicing this mm. for a little bit. And by the way, Kristen, if they if your viewers go to elpinto.com and sign up in, yeah. in our email, yeah. every Thursday we have a muse that comes out and we have special deals just for people that come on our little club. <gasps> so, how nice. Another nice little tip. Now, as you continue to slice that, we're going to go to break. We've got the recipe online for all of our viewers. All you need to do is go to casa.com and when we come back, we will finish making the guacamole and of course, my favorite part, we'll be eating it. Thanks. Don't go away. <laughs> It looks good outside, it looks good inside. Jim, yes. of course, telling us how he finalized the preparation of the guacamole from El Pinto. Tell us what the last step was. Well, the last step is after we've sliced it with a knife, so we yes. don't want to pulverize that. We don't want it emulsified. We're going to just fold it. Okay. So I'm going to use this little spoon in here, okay. and I'm going to fold it. And we have, you can see we have about a quarter inch chunks mm, of right. avocado. We mm. get the bursting flavor of the onions and the tomatoes and the salsa. Now, real quick, how do you keep it from turning brown when you have the leftovers? The, the best way to keep it is to get the air and the light out of it. So okay. what we're going to do is going to get plastic, and we're going to cover it, wrap, and we take all of the air out of it. Kind of okay. like apples. Yeah. And you also mentioned maybe a lemon on it, too? A little bit of lime juice. We like lime, lime. juice. A oh, more okay, citrusy and it Perfect. protects it pretty good. We can't Ooh, wait anymore, we can we? In. <laughs> Thanks yeah. to all of Thank today's you. guests. If there's anything you need to know about today's show, just log on to our website at casa.com and we will be looking forward to seeing you first thing tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. Right yeah. here on Chicago. Have a great morning. Cheers. Yummy.